Hi everyone and welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel to check out another video. Watch why I'm going to turn this pile of parts, some old skis and lumber, into a trail groomer that I pull behind my Ford 9N tractor. That's what I said, a Ford 9N tractor, antique, built in 1939, so that I can create and maintain some cross-country ski trails on the property. The possibility of doing some cross-country skiing during lunchtime, let's say, on a crisp, sunny winter day, ooh, that's appealing. I don't have a snowmobile, so I'll be using my tractor to pull the trail groomer. Good girl, Blue Heel. Visions of Olympic glory, only if I put the speed on super fast. Let's go back a few days. We'll grab my tools, head into the shop, and I'll show you how I built this trail groomer. Okay, all the tools are inside that I need to do my project with. The design I have in mind for the groomer is a simple one. I'm just going to use these leftover 2x6s that I milled up for the shop. The groomer is 7 feet long and 4 feet 3 inches wide. Okay, so there is the basic design of this trail groomer that I'm making. Homemade, nothing special. Two by six. I'm probably going to have to cut a two by four for the middle piece, although I'm not certain on that yet just because I'm running uh, low on the two by sixes. And um, I've got the old Volvo. From the 1980s, this is a pair of my mother's old skis, Vocal Leopards. And I'll secure those on the bottom to act as, uh, just to facilitate the movement of the groomer through the snow. So that the front ends don't uh, hook up on anything and so it doesn't dive down at all. So there you go, that's what I'm building and hopefully I can put it to use in the coming weeks when we get some more snow. Blue! So a really simple approach to making this. Uh, the runners are seven feet long. It's uh, four feet, three inches wide. And now I'm gonna tack it together. I'm gonna put the first board at uh, 10 inches back, this dead center, and that 10 inches from the end. I secured the cross members using three and a quarter inch structural screws, the same type that I used in the wall framing for the shop. And I added a diagonal board to help keep it square and obviously give it some rigidity.
Here I'm just doing a simple dry fit with the skis, but also lining them up where I want to get them on the tip end of the skis because I want to round off the ends of those 2x6 runners so that the curve of the ski gets a little support. Once that was done, I simply clamped the ski in place and got ready to pre-drill it using some self-tapping screws and then of course proceeded to just uh, socket right down using those structural screws to the frame of the groomer. Next I grabbed my drill driver and an inch and a half spade bit and drilled two holes, one on each main runner, at the front. I have a couple of old bike lock cables, they're pretty long, they're about five foot each, that I've been using to lock various pieces of equipment up when I've not been out of the property. And I'm going to use those, I pass those through the holes that I drilled in the front runners, in the front of the runners, and those will be attached to the drawbar on the 9N tractor so that I can pull this behind the tractor and create those trails.
And there it is. That's how I made myself an exceptionally inexpensive trail groomer that I can attach to the back of my tractor, head out into the back acres, and create a little cross-country ski system and loop that I can use. And up here at this bend, if blue gets out of my way here, you can see is the uh, backstop for my archery area. And uh, the silly idea that I have right now is that I'm going to possibly try to do something that I'm going to call the Viking Biathlon. So obviously ski around the loop, the loop being roughly about a kilometer long, and stop here at this station, or I'll call it a station, Maybe take uh, three or five uh, shots with the bow and arrow and then get back uh, on the trail with the skis and time it. And I'll call that the Viking Biathlon. Well, that's the first time I've been cross-country skiing out here at the property. I've just gone on the trail. It's probably about, I'm gonna say three quarters of a kilometer, a loop that I've created using my tractor. You've seen that footage here. And uh, I'm a little bit winded, not a heck of a lot, but again, I wasn't moving at uh, any great speed, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun to get out here, enjoy the outdoors and enjoy the land and not, uh, and not let these opportunities pass.